Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of But It's Free. My name's Chris Kenner and I've got Karma with me today. Hey. And we are both sick with space malaria. Again. Or it feels that way anyway. We have literally been sick like most of the time we have been doing these videos, so... Yeah. But today we're playing Roblox, which is this is like retina searingly bright colours. But um, Roblox, I think Karma described it best. What did you call it? What did I call it? I don't remember. I think you said it was like basically Gary's mod, but with Lego men. Yeah, and boring. I said boring, but uh, that was me. Yeah. But this, this, this is a game which I have heard get a lot of hype and a lot of attention. Yeah, and I have heard this game get so much praise. Like literally for a couple of months, sort of the middle of last year, I didn't hear anything but people talk about this. And... Everything I have seen about it doesn't do it for me. Yeah, like it, it's it seems like Roblox is basically an engine, um, and much like Little Big Planet or Gary's Mod, the players can create their own go away antivirus. Uh... But yeah, the, sorry, the players can create their own levels of their own design with pretty expansive. Um, pretty expansive content but as with anything where you sort of give people free reign as we've been seeing in the sort of new grounds videos we've been doing it's all well and good saying yes you can do all this but very few people actually seem to make use of all those features yeah there's a very strange uh, thing here because i've been talking i talk about gary's mod occasionally and i do love that game i fell in love with it the second i got it um and the difference is that that one you have to pay for immediately. This one's free. Yeah. Um, you have to pay. I think it's gone down way down in price now for uh, for Gary's mod. But you generally find a lot of the the content that's made for it. Essentially, Gary's mod is the same sort of thing. It's an engine, but a lot of the content for it is free to download. There are paid bits of content, but they are not worth it. Yeah, not, not with uh, how good the free stuff is. Yeah, the so. free stuff is so amazing. Why would you get the paid content? It is really not worth your time even looking for it. It's mostly mods that just make drugs work in the game, which is really stupid. But yeah, um, and there's also free versions of those mods, so it's really worthless. Yeah. But um, my point is, um, this appears to be the opposite. That you don't pay for the engine at all. But you do have to use real money to make the game worth playing. Yeah, like the you, a lot of the levels that people can create, you can actually pay for just to be able to play them. And all the avatar um, skins. And yeah, like I, I look nothing like this person that you see here. Yeah, it doesn't look like that in real life. He's basically got Pierce Brosnan's face <laughs> and hair. And but Lego. Yeah, the the guy, not me. I I do not have Piers Brosnan's face in real life. No, yeah, I'm talking about the Lego. Like you don't look like Lego in real life either. <laughs> yeah. No, basically, Kenner is blonde and has a beard. Yep. That is that is those are my defining features: blonde and beardy. I'm kind of pug-like. I'm not a pug. <laughs> I am a grown adult. And I deserve respect. He snores like a pug. <laughs> okay. But, uh, this... Like, the, I, the, there is more to the game than this, but this is the most visually appealing thing that we could find. I mean, we've seen levels so far where you can be digging around in the sand to try and find treasure. And as you go forward, you can upgrade the backpack that you're putting yeah. your treasure in and the tool you're using to dig it up. The thing is, that sounds interesting. Yeah. But in reality, it's so not your basically. It, it's almost identical to playing Minecraft. There's treasure underneath the blocks. So you're essentially just clicking on the ground until the block breaks. Uh, but there's no payoff for it. Mm. There is just like... It's just digging and digging until something, uh, until you find something. You don't get a block that you can then place and build something with, mm. like Minecraft. So it sort of seemed really, 
Like, dull. Like, I, when I, the title came up for Treasure Hunt, I was expecting that there'd be some exploring and w wandering around the area, but actually there wasn't. It was just this one little area that, like, that you could dig in, and that was it. It really was tiny. Like, it was, like, six or seven blocks across. And then it gives you the impression you can go elsewhere and go explore around, but you have to pay to go there, so... Eh. Well, I guess I'm not doing that then. Yeah. Because that's well, not the, free. I think this this has gotten interesting now. Like the the red sections you can't touch because they insta kill you. Oh. Okay. That, that's what qualifies as interesting in this game. Yeah, like I have not been impressed with this so far. I've seen a lot of big and like loads loads of videos. I've seen lots of people talk about this, but I'm not very impressed. I don't know whether I'm looking at this the wrong way. I think we, we might have just found some bad levels. Like we, We've seen a video um, where some people were in this basically this this random event generating oh, this yeah. random ev event generating elevator. Nope, so not that one. Okay, that's that makes it more challenging, which, no, it's not the green one either. Blue one? Yes, okay. Um, yeah, we, we saw this one where people in like an elevator that randomly generates some events, making references to all sorts of things like Slender Man, uh, Jason Voorhees, that sort of thing. Would I like? No, I wouldn't like to buy a skip. You see, that's the sort of thing that gets to you when you're playing a game like this. Oh. When the game's like, yes, we acknowledge this is boring. Would you like to pay to make to skip the boring bit? It's as though like there is a not boring bit later on. But it's just it's just more of this. Yeah, this gets pretty repetitive. Like now it's just sort of <sighs> Yeah. Well there's not a lot yeah. you can say from this point. It's just it's a three D platformer. There's loads of them. If you ever played Mario, it's like that. Oh, falling off. And this No, I wouldn't. And that this is the thing, like, it's just it's just variations on this. This engine seems very capable and very powerful. And we've seen that it can do fun things. But it's got the curse of being made too easy to use. With someone like Gary's Mod, you've got to be really good to be able to use that. Yeah, Gary's Mod is very... not. I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it is time-consuming to learn. I, I've been exploring it quite deeply. I'd really love to do some videos on it. Unfortunately, it's not a free game. Mm. Um, but it is a very interesting game. It has a lot of stuff that is free for it. And I do think that these are worth comparing to one another because they work so similarly. They are basically game engines and the content for it is essentially user-created. But compared to the kinds of games you can play in Gary's Mod, one of my... Oh, okay. Sorry. But look, th th this actually highlights what I'm talking about, though. Look, look, right, look at all the basic shapes, but this can exist in this. It's just not done. Yeah, well, I was saying um, one of my favourite games in Gary's Mod is Prop Hunt. Uh, essentially, if you've never seen anybody play this before, it's worth looking this up. Because it is very funny. Um, you basically get separated into two teams. One team gets to be the sort of hunters or the seekers. Um, and they have to find you, but you, the person who gets to play the prop gets to basically pick up a prop and they turn into it. Mm. And they can hide in what is usually a really fun level. There's lots of prop hunt levels. Yeah. Arguably some are terrible, like some are just rooms full of barrels and things, which is silly, but... Um, I've had some beautiful ones. There's a particular one I love playing called Volcano, which is like a, a sort of mansion on an island mm. and there's a lovely little beach and there's hidden rooms that you can hide in it's and it's fascinating like the person who did it kudos to them they they give it away for free and they must have spent weeks making this place with all these um hidden rooms and, and putting all these props out so that they look natural and the idea is you've got to try and blend in with everything around you and it can be really tricky and then sometimes you can do something really silly like turn yourself into a vending machine and realise you can't move. Hmm. Why can I not get past that? I think you look... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know anything. Um, 
This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No. Like, I'm, like I'm, I'm obviously catching myself on the green things, but beyond this point, I'm really struggling to get past because I'm having to jump just so that I don't catch myself on it. This is another thing, like the collision engine's obviously quite capable, but the design does not reflect or make use of that. Because I'm pretty sure I was catching my hands on those discs. Yeah, the collision's terrible. Like, that happens with a lot of games, but... Ugh. Oh. But it's it has potential, but as with something like Little Big Planet as an example, whenever you give someone a tool that's that easy to use, they're just gonna use it to make dicks. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like, how many dick levels are there for Little Big Planet? A lot. I mean, it's a shame because I I've we've both seen some quite incredible things made in that. And the, this is suffering from the same thing, where people are abusing the tool to just, with a very little effort, make something that's actually... So it, it makes me sad to see, because it's not... It's not reflective of the effort that's gone into making what's underneath this. Yeah... I don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, it, I think it's one of those talent but no effort yeah, things. Yeah, I, I feel like you could do better by paying just a little bit more and getting um, something a bit more interesting. I, I do not really understand why this one has become so insanely popular. I don't know why this particular game is so popular, because I'm not fond of the way it looks, and I'm not fond of the way it plays. Mm. And I can't say that I've seen anything worth investing any money into yet. Yeah, this like everything we've seen is just, here's a rubbish version of another game. I've been told that there's a very competent uh, Pokemon that's been created in this. And there's, there's lots of sort of copyrighted content that people are... Uh, ripping off but um, it's just it's not worth it there's no point I think we've we've said about all we can say really now haven't yeah we? I, I would if you're interested in a game like this don't play this one get Gary's mod it is it has such a strong community and it looks nicer yeah like literally some of the levels in it are stunning mm. um, the mods for it are absolutely insane and creative and you see a, there's, lo there's lots of potential for building things in that, where there is no building in this, you can't make anything. But um, if you want something like this, get Gary's Mod. It's not very expensive to buy anymore. Mm. And it's literally full of creativity. This is not really. Yeah, I'd love to be able to do some videos on Gary's Mod, but it sort of, it sort of violates our... Yeah, free like, game rule. By all means, if you want us to have a, a look into it, let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'd like, really love to see that. Yeah. So I would really love to talk about it. It's a game I'm very passionate about. Yeah, but uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna s cut that off there. But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you'd like to hit that subscribe button, we do put out new videos every Thursday and every Sunday. Yeah, this has been a bit of a depressing video this week. Yeah, like we're not normally like this. It's just that like I we're sick, and this is. Been a letdown. Yeah, we'll after get, all the hype. Yeah, we'll get some better games. Uh, we're we're going to download what we're going to look at. We're going to look at Path of Exile. Um, really? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose we have to. We should. And <laughs> Star Trek Online, which yeah. I like, but Karma had a hard time with. I love Star Trek. Star Trek is something that's very close to my heart, and I did not get on with that game. Yeah. It was a little bit much for me. But there's a lot to look forward to. So you guys take care, and we shall see you all next time. Bye. Bye.